ஃபண்டமெண்டல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஸோ வெல்கம் டு மை நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஃபண்டமெண்டல் அனாலிசிஸ் தட் இஸ் ப்ரைஸ் டு சேல்ஸ் ரேஷியோ ஸோ இன் ஃபண்டமெண்டல் அனாலிசிஸ் பேசிக்கலி வில் பி ஸ்டடிங் அபவுட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரேஷியோஸ் ஸோ தட் இஸ் வாட் யூ வில் பி சீங் ஸோ டோன்ட் ஜஸ்ட் கெட் போர்ட் ஜஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் யூ ஆர் ஸ்டடிங் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரேஷியோஸ் தே ஆர் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் ஐம் டெலிங் so in the previous video we studied about what is market capitalization so market capitalization is the number of shares into the share price so that is the total worth of the company actual worth how many shares the company has given into the market and what is the price of each share that is what market capitalization means in this video we will be studying about the price to sales ratio so what is p by s ratio that is price to sales ratio okay right just focus on each and every point that i am telling you because it is very 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 important uh you can make your own pattern right when you are doing fundamental analysis i will be teaching you different types of ratios you can give priority to the ratios based on your order and then consider the companies different aspects so when you choose a, make a list of the companies and see their price to sales ratio price to uh, p- uh, profit ratio different types price to earning ratio see the different types of ratios okay which i will be teaching you further you can make a list and give them the priority and based on that you can make your decision of buying the share for long term okay so you can know whether the company is undervalued or overvalued if the company is undervalued you can buy it and if it is overvalued you can sell it so that is what so now what is price to sales ratio right so every company when 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 you start a company the main goal of your company is to make sales right then comes the profit the first step so we are going in order whatever we will be studying about we will be going in order so first we studied market capitalization which means the size of the company right how big company you are starting now let's see how much sales your company makes whether it makes good amount of sales or less amount of sales so that so we are going in order so now price to sales ratio is the price of the share per per, per share what is the sales the company is making so i will be showing you in the next slide you, as you can see what is price to sales ratio that is the main question right if i'm talking about price to sales ratio what is what is it price to sales ratio and how important is it so price to sales ratio or p by s is calculated by taking a company's market capitalization so you study what market capitalization is the number of outstanding shares multiplied by the share price so the number of shares that the company has given by uh, into the uh, this one uh, share price is the market capitalization and divided by total number of sales the company has made or the revenue over 12 past 12 months so that is price to sales ratio so price to sales ratio is the market capitalization divided by the number of share uh, sales the company has made in last 12 months so in one year the number of sales that the company has made when it is divided by the market capitalization gives us the price to sales ratio so basically what is that and how to use the price to sales ratio so the lower the price to sales ratio the more attractive the investment is so the company is very good if it has low price to sales ratio and price to sales ratio provides a useful measure for sizing up the stocks now let me tell this point to you in detail what is price to sales ratio it is market capitalization divided by the total number of uh, sales that the company has made in past 12 uh, months that is past one year okay so so what you need to understand this price to sales ratio tells you the price per share a price uh, per uh, sales per share divided by the price per share okay so it is basically the price you are paying and the sales you are getting for that price so for a fixed amount of price what are the sales so let me uh, explain to you it in a bit detail so the market capitalization if the size of the company is small but the number of sales it has made is big then obviously the company is more attractive right a smaller company a smaller size company so if the denominator is big so the denominator is the sales right see divided by the total number of sales if the company is small size but it has made big number of sales then the company is profitable right so that is what is meant by price to sales ratio so if the price to sales ratio is less if the price to sales ratio is less it means that the denominator is big so what is the denominator denominator is the uh number of sales right 
so if the number of sales is more it means that the company is good and if the number of sales is more the price to sales ratio will be less right the number of price to sales ratio will be less then the company is obviously attractive very good company so the lower price to sales ratio means the more attractive the investment is price to sales ratio provides a useful measure measure for sizing up the stocks because the less the price to sales ratio it means the company is making lot of sales though the profit of the company might be less it means that the company is not generating it can mean that the company is not generating lot of profit because we we don't see the profit so that is one disadvantage of the price to sales ratio we don't consider the profit in uh, our context but we measure the sales so uh, it is useful for the company which has initially started it is not beginning to earn lot of money but it is making good amount of sales it means the company is very strong so it is a good investment so price to sales ratio is very useful so i have given you here why it is useful the price to sales ratio shows how much market values every dollar or every rupee how much market values every rupee of the company sales this ratio can be effective in valuing growth stocks that have yet to turn profit have suffered temporary setback so as i told you a company might not be making profit currently right you started a company and you are selling the products for very cheap with not lot of profit but you are uh, but there is lot of sales you 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 don't generate lot of profit but there are lot of sales because to just advertise your company or to market your company you might not be making lot of profit but you are having lot of sales so lot of sales actually means that the company is strong in future the sales can be profitable you might charge more but if the people are interested in your company and in your product whatever product you are selling it means that the company is very strong right so the sales is one of the main aspects for measuring the company's growth in future whether the company will be useful or not now where does p by s ratio fall short so that being said turnover is valuable only if at some point it can be translated into earning so if you cannot make your sales into profit so that is the disadvantage price to sales ratio shows you how much sales the company makes so if the price to sales ratio is less it means the price of the share is less compared to the share sales it is making so it is making lot of sales but the price of the share is less so you must buy it because the sales are more but the disadvantage is what if in future company doesn't generate profit from its sales so there are companies who sell products at almost the uh, um, price that they buy the raw material for they don't generate huge amount of profit so there are construction companies the different types of companies who sell the raw uh, product at just the uh, exact price the raw material price they don't generate lot of profit so then buying the share is not profitable because the growth chances of growth are very less so then you price to sales ratio cannot always justify that the share or the company is very good to buy so there it falls short price to sales ratio is not useful in some cases because it might not tell you that how good a company is so yes price to sales ratio is very good for new companies uh, who are uh, just starting up and whose sales are going you can see their sales how good sales they are making per uh, share or uh, the price as per the price of the share how good their sales are. you can see that so price to sales ratio is very useful to see that but price to sales ratio cannot help you to know whether the company in future will be generating a lot of profit so that is a disadvantage now uh, you have learned about what price to sales ratio is how useful it is and a disadvantage of price to sales ratio it is always good to use price to sales ratio with other ratios with other aspects by using fundamental analysis it's always better to make a list of ratios that you are going to see in company to determine how good a company is have your own method of analyzing the stocks by using the methods i'm going to teach you create your own method don't you cannot use all the ratios use the most important ratios that you feel are important to you and start to invest you can become a very good investor you now are in a step to learn how to determine the growth of a company the business of a company how good a company is so fundamental analysis is a very interesting course just create a demat account immediately from the link subscribe to the channel would be beautiful thank you very much